Now that we've got our home page sorted, we're going to start on the first page. We're going to link it to the about button at the top after this. But first, we're going to add a control element. We're going to change this to about. And as always, we add in the container first and add the elements inside of it. As I mentioned earlier, we can use the style to standardize all the page titles. So that's what I did. And then based on my design, I was going to add three images at the very top of the page, just so it's not full of words and it gives everyone something to look at. So I added a gallery. But this one's just to suit your own style, you do not have to do this for yours. But I will show you how I did mine. Then I added the body, which was a description of my brand and what we do, what we stand for. I would recommend having this typed out before you start this and then you can just copy and paste it in instead of having to type it out from scratch. Once I'm done with the page, I go back up to the home page and I add the link to the about button. So that just makes sure that when someone clicks about on the home page, it's going to bring them to the about page. So my main purpose of building this website was to have a kind of gallery to showcase the products I sold. Even if it had been sold out and I was no longer making it, I wanted it to be in my portfolio, so to speak. So um, similar to what I've done, before I added control, added section, I added container, and I added the title, and also a gallery which I expanded to fit as many images as I needed to. I then sped up the process of uploading the images because I didn't think you would need to sit through that. And here we go. I also created little sections within the same container and I just split them with different titles for each category. So for example, necklaces, and earrings, and ring dishes. And that would be my gallery. I added a contact page, which is a staple for all websites, I believe. It's pretty straightforward. You just add a section, a container, and there's already the option to add a form. So you just have to select form and it will bring up the template for you. You can change the details that you want to include in the form. And once you add a page title, that's basically it. So it's really simple. I sat on the first draft for a few days, so I could go back with a fresh set of eyes and see if I missed anything out. I went back and added a button for the shop because I wanted it to stand out instead of kind of blending in with the other pages. So this is roughly how it looks like in here. All the sections are on one long scrollable page for you, but if you go to the actual site, it's going to show up differently with the sections hidden until they click in it. And once you are ready, you can go ahead and publish it. You can publish it to a cart.co URL 
or you can also purchase a domain separately and link it up with the website. I bought a domain and I use the domain for this and here it is. So you're just going to have to look at it. And you can see that the links all work so you can click into the different pages otherwise um, it just shows up as the home page in the start. I hope this helps and that you enjoyed it and good luck building your own.